All Tribal Students Union Manipur, Kuki Students Organization and Old Naga Students Association Manipur demand special assembly session on ADC Build 2021. Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin assures to reach 8 lakh registration by December for each from which was taken up by Centre for the Welfare of Workers and Unorganised Sectors. Chairperson of Manipur Commission for Protection of Child Rights, P.H. Manibabu, says a ground level study needed before starting physical classes. People in Lungar village of Ukrult district are deprived of proper educational institutions, health clinics, hospitals and other basic amenities. Manipur reports 55 new COVID-19 cases, 25 recoveries and 1 deaths in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 2.88%. And India adds 12,516 fresh COVID-19 cases, 13,155 recoveries and 501 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.26%. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin and I'm Kanal Sambandaram with you. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance from one another. Please remember that the fight against the COVID-19 is not over yet. Now the news in details. Old Travel Students Union Manipur Atsum, Cookie Students Organization KSO and Old Naga Students Association Manipur Ansam today served an ultimatum of seven days to the state government demanding to convene special assembly session and table controversial ADC Bill 2021. The three organizations warned of imposing a 24-hour total shutdown in the entire health districts of the state on 20th of November and impose indefinite economic blockade along the national highways of the Manipur from 22nd of November if their demands are not met. The decision was taken during the meeting of members of Cookie Students Organization, Old Naga Students Association, Manipur and Atsum Federate, Federating Unit at the office of Old Tribal Students Union Manipur at Chingmerong, led by assumed President Pao Tin Thang Lufeng today. Speaking to media, Pao Tin Thang Lufeng claimed that content of ADC Bill 2021 does not threaten the identity integrity of the state. He added the bill aims to bring autonomy and development under Article 371 Close C. He termed the idea of threatening the integrity of the state by the bill as wrong. Pao Tin Thang Lu Feng also added that ADC build has come up due to student bodies in hill areas demanding for the six scheduled, but the then Congress government in 2008 had amended the Autonomous District Council, revoking the six scheduled demand. He added, the demand of ADC Build 2021 arises in view that ADC has been functioning without much power. And Hilled Area Committee, based on a resolution, had, take, had been striving for introducing the Build in Manipur Legislative Assembly through a subcommittee since 2017. Meanwhile, Cookie Students Organization's general headquarters and unsum president through media appeal to old organizations in plain and people of Manipur to support the bill. See, bill is the the Manipur digi to ani hai ba leite. Si bill si di dilgi saagi 771 si ye makha da leiba koi matik cha ba phang phang thok ba autonomy aduga or fair share of development. Achi ki khak ta oi bani. Si is da koi si bill se pass already si Manipur kai gani hai bi se la le. Asi di misconception ne hai na khai ni ngi. 
So this is the resolution that we have adopted today. Right rating the demand for convening a special Manipur Legislative Assembly session to table the Hays SG recommended ADC Bill 2021. The meeting resolved to serve an ultimatum to the state government to meet the demand within seven days of time starting from 13 November 2021. Failing to pay heed to the demand, 24 hours of total shutdown shall be enforced in the entire hill districts of the state on 20 November 2021. And it's also, it's also further resolved to impose indefinite economic blockade along the national highways of Manipur state from 22nd November 2021. Chief Minister Nong Thomambirin has expressed his appointment of the less number of registration at each farm schemed by workers of the unorganized sector. Department of Lever today distributed each farm scheme cards to laborers at Hotel Imphal today. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said the government will make all out efforts to reach out Ishram cards to at least 8 lakh workers in the state by December this year. Nong Thomambirain said family of an unorganized sector worker can get benefit of up to 2 lakh rupees under Ishram scheme at free of cost, unlike a private company's life insurance policies. He expressed disappointment that only 58,000 workers have registered for the scheme despite notification by the relevant department four months ago. Insurance company the insurance job in the accident. She even have a life insurance job away in it. She soon the gear when the life insurance company always not face by Saturday away. She did soon the gear start to talk to me on the room. The state of my own office here was so delayed. Honorable Prime Minister there in the Modi city, I'm the visionary schemes, projects, Magi, the ideology she have been kept away to say. Aduna, I assure you, Honorable Minister, I assure you, within December, and our Chief Secretary is here, you shall organize division voice. She can pull my arms up when I'm going to make them see. Paid lever and employment. Rameshwar Tally claimed that center and state government have been joining it jointly taking various initiatives for the welfare of the public. He said Ishram scheme was launched in August this year under Prime Minister Narendra Modi to benefit unorganized workers. He said around 7 crore 30 lakh workers have registered under the scheme so far and have benefited. Rameshwar Tally called upon the relevant officials to reach out the scheme to beneficiaries workers at knock and corner of Manipur. He also appeals to reach out Ujwala schemes to all beneficiaries in Manipur. Works Minister Thongamth Vishwarjit, Chairman of the Manipur Building and other construction workers' welfare's Haikant Dingo, Kurai MLA's Leisang Them, the Shushindro and others attended the event. भारत सरकार की सामाजिक सुरक्षा योजनाओं को लाभ लेने के लिए बार-बार पंजीयन की जरूरत नहीं होगी। इस पर्टल पर पंजीकरण करने पर कोई भी कामगार भाई या बहन भारत सरकार की योजना का लाभ लेने से बंचित नहीं रहेगा। इस पर्टल पर पंजीकरण करने पर असंगठित वर्ग के मजदूर भाइयों एवं बहनों को एक UAN कार्ड मिलेगा। जो देश के सभी राज्यों में लागू होगा क्योंकि एक व्यक्ति का अगर रजिस्ट्रेशन जब होता है ₹20 हमारी मंत्रालय से ही मिलेगा इसलिए आप लोग एक पैसा देने की जरूरत नहीं है आप लोग रजिस्ट्रेशन करवाइए और रजिस्ट्रेशन होने के साथ ही साथ आप लोगों का इंश्योरेंस हो जाएगा ₹2 लाख का Union Minister of State, Petroleum and Natural Gas Rameshwar Tally said a rate of petroleum products are increased in the country as it is also increased in the international market. He was speaking on the sideline of the flagging off of a cycled rally carrying the message, let's reduce the use of petroleum products from the Kumalam Park Sports Complex today. Rameshwar Tally said initiatives for productions of ethanol oil from the bamboo 
rice and other agricultural items have commenced. He added ethanol oil is cheaper as compared to petroleum products as well as eco-friendly. He said that initiatives for productions of ethanol oil at Maharashtra have commenced and operation of buses using ethanol oil has started at Nagpur. He also said that such initiatives will be taken up in northeast states, especially Manipur, from next year. He also stressed on the benefits of cycling and appealed to youths to cultivate the habit for use of cycled. Pradhan Mantri ke vichha hai ki ham bahar se tel jada na laen aur yahan ke jo hamare kisan hai unke utpadit jo samagri hai jaise bambu hai ya गन्ना है या राइस है उसी से हम इथानो निकलाएँ और 20 परसेंट वेंडिंग करें वो 50 परसेंट कम्प्लीट हो गया है अगले साल इथानोल का काम शुरू हो जाएगा हाँ और मणिपुर में भी हम लोग इस बार सोच रहा था कि इथानोल का प्रोजेक्ट यहाँ भी एक लगे लेकिन जब हम लोग टाइम दिया था टाइम से इथानोल प्रोजेक्ट के लिए अप्लाई नहीं किया गया लेकिन आने वाले दिन में यहाँ भी मणिपुर में भी इथानोल प्रोजेक्ट लगाया जाएगा the person of Manipur Commission for Protection of Child Rights, PH Manibabu, has emphasized on the need for task force comprising of Health Department, Home Department, Social Welfare Department and various departments to undertake ground-level inspection of schools before the state government's order to resume physical classes from Class 9 and above continues further. He was speaking to media during the Commission's 10th Foundation Day held at Social Welfare Department's office in the 2nd Manipur Rifles Complex today. Speaking further, Manibabu said although the government's initiative to reopen schools for resuming physical classes is a progressive step, there is need to inspect the school's conditions including strength of teachers and staffs before classes resume. President of Bharatiya Janata Party, Manipur Pradesh A. Sarada has appealed to vote for BJP candidates in the upcoming general election so that Manipur will become the most developed state in India. So, we're speaking at the one-day political conference organized by BJP Thangwaiban Mandal at Iputho Nauti Kong Pakhangba Sangmen in Thangwaiban Larin Hanjiba Lakai today. A. Sarada said no developmental activities were carried out in the state when Congress Party was in power and claimed that the BJP government in Manipur has successfully brought a major transformation during its less than five years of governance. Works Minister Thongant Vishwarjit along with important leaders of BJP and aspiring party candidates of Thangwaiban constituency attended the event. Manipur's People Party's intending candidates from Sagolban Assembly constituencies Chingtam Luang has said that political prostitution of politicians has hindered developmental progress and harmony in the state. He was speaking to media during a public meeting organized by party's intending candidate at the party's office behind Polo Ground today. Speaking further, Chingtam Luang lamented that considering public as a trade item, this political representatives have been shifting from one party to another for mere personal benefits. He therefore appealed to people to teach bay-feeting lessons to such candidate in the upcoming election. Also taking part in the meeting, MPP candidates from Andro constituency A. Bele termed the attempt to disintegrate the MPP party and threatening towards its party candidate as unfortunate. The 11 KV panel of 132 33 KV Kongba substation in Infal S district suddenly exploded and caught on fire following a short circuit during the wee hours today. On receiving information, a team of Manipur Fire Service arrived at the scene and doused the fire. Speaking to Impact News, Deputy General Manager of Substation Division 1, Hijant Mani Mukta said that areas under Thambal Kong and Kongman Station are facing power outrage due to the incident.
he also said that MSP DCL engineers are repairing the damage to restore power supply in the areas within tomorrow. Eleven KV panel thamal khongi panel si mai sak thokre. Adu ga maga loina ba thangna ba panel ani mu sukhra sokre. Adu na koi ngarang dege horoga koi kan na power se restore thangna ba khona zabani. Adu bunga si mai thari three one thari two di restore thokre. Adu eleven KV se koi bung ma pantara swaida mai restore thangna ba ambray yang jage. Adu bu kitang dia ngona doubt le jenga si si ngarang si khra chau na mai sak iba fire brigade chau na mai si kan hibani mai mai hobo si aduna hayeng si akhoi bai nunda sungsoi so aduna ai restore tongno ba khona jage aduna mayam su khara awa ba khara khangmi na rasi Old Manipur Hills Area 10th and 11th IRB candidates 2019 is imposing a flash indefinite economic blockade on National Highway No. 2 starting 10 a.m. of November 14th against Manipur government delaying their recruitment process. Press release from Old Manipur Hills Area's 10th and 11th IRB candidates 2019 demanded government to declare the results of Viva Voice exam for riflemen candidates and issue Viva Viva Voice notice for Jamandar candidates who have already cleared the written test at the earliest. Vice President of Wakalunt Manaba Apun Bakangle Park, Wama, S. Tomba, has warned of launching intense agitation if government fails to send recommendations to the center for enlisting the Maite Mite community in the scheduled drive ST list ahead of the state general election. Speaking on the sideline of a protest meet organized by Wakalon Manaba Apunbakangle Park Wama at Wahengbam Lekai today, S. Tomba termed the state government's apathetic attitudes towards the issue as unfortunate. He reiterated that the current government must take necessary actions for inclusions of Maite Mite in the settled tribe list at the soonest. Furthermore, S. Tomba asserted that the Wama will extend solidarity to every initiative of the settled tribe demand committee, Manipur STDCM. He also mentioned that the public, including Ningtho Leishimazana Jauba, has protested demanding the same in the past. Thereby, he demanded the government for recommendation of same at the earliest, else warns of unprecedented agitations in the following days. Central government, Manipur government, da, ekoi ki mari manga rak recommend tharu wo hai rabu da Manipur lenga na tasen na dena labour si hanta ki lakhe to riba election kolo kandak yo dinge si ki manung da. Akui wakalon mana ba apun bekang lay pang na sungsoi sungsoi dalam mayu lang pokal loy nana gar mengi mai kai da akui tu jengwa pahon bagal loy nana acau ba action gal loy nana akui kongsen kongsen ni ay besi ay aham lemak tu tetam sege mani pergi miam kum na jam honda acau ba parbing meeting tau ba mafam adu tu zoom miam na masih acau ba kongtang ni pibam thui tanbam thui ay ba demand ni ay besi miam na lepam ba warib tu gim makani adu bo haji bau da gar mengi mai kai dagi Masi tak sabi dengan namjan dengan tambah se, wamana kay kay tunggu ida lem le taroi. People in Lungar village of Ukrul district are deprived of proper educational and health facilities. Above these issues, the village is also facing water shortage crisis since many of the natural water resources in the village are drying up. Impact News bring you a report. Lunghar Bile, situated around 30 kilometers away from Ukrul district headquarters, inhabited by around 3,170 people. Some of the biggest problems in the village is the children have to travel around 10 kilometers daily to attain the school and the villagers have to travel till the district headquarters to receive medical attention. One important thing is the villagers never expected that they will be deprived of one of the most essential needs, which is water. The village is now facing water shortage issue due to the fact that spring water sources are drying off in the area. Ising topum sinja, hana thom bacaanga, hujuk thoi bacaanga kena bora. 
the main livelihood of Lungher villages is cultivation. It is necessary that authorities concern finding new methods of farming in the village to enable local farmers to make enough profit. ไอ้พวกอย่างเดิมดูคราดิกังบาโหรยนองจูซูหันทะเรหันตะกีกอดูกาอดูกะเลยเนี่ยไอ้ควายอิชิงตางบะซูเฮาเรยามคอนเวน
State Health Mission, National Health Mission and Directorate of Health and Family Welfare Services jointly organized the event at IMA Hall in Lumville Park. The campaign will continue till February 28th next year. Dr. Sylvia asserted that children under 5 years of age are more vulnerable to pneumonia infection which lead to 14% of infant mortality in India. She said as per SRA report of 2018, under 5 infant mortality rate was 36 per 1,000 life birth and under National Health Policy 2017, government targets to reduce the mortality rate to 23 per 1,000 live births by 2025. She stressed on the need to reduce child mortality rate to less than 3 per 1,000 live birth for making the mission a success. Chahi mga gi makada lai ba angang singda pneumonia lai na 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 basi yam na toy na toy aduga pneumonia lai na sina maram oiraga lai tabagi chang sisu yam na wangi 14 percent si koy gi pneumonia lai na na angang sing sila hende SRS 2018 gi report gi matung ina chahi mga gi makada lai ba angang sing asigi mortality is asi 36 per thousand life birth ni amadi national health policy 2017 gi pandam da angang sing asi lai tabagi chang asi akoy na 23 per thousand life birth da handa han bagi Manipur reported 55 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 1,907 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID-19 positivity rate stands at 2.88%. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 1,24,383. Active cases are 790. One COVID-19 patient from Imphal West district died in the past 24 hours. That toll has reached 1,942. On the positive note, 25 recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases to 1,21,626. Manipur's recovery rate stands at 97.80%. Deputy Commissioner of Taubal District, Ahantem Subhash, flag off a five vaccination express from Taubal the DC campus today. The vaccine express will cover five different loca locations in Taubal District. District Health Society Thobald organized the event. Speaking on the occasion, DC A. Shubhas said that around 60,000 individuals in Thobald District are yet to receive the second dose of COVID vaccine. He appealed to the people to administer COVID-19 jabbed through the door-to-door -door vaccination drive. Meanwhile, District Family Welfare Officer Thobald Dr. K. S. H. Memcha informed residents of Thobald District to contact helpline number. 98622-67552. May I repeat the number again? 98622-67552. If 10 to 20 individuals in a locality want to administer the vaccine. Prescribed outfit Kangle Park Communist Party released the 14th volume of a biannual winter publications Langthin Minasi Ekoi today. Press release from KCP says the journal contains editorials on non-materialistic Oiba Puarigi wa Kalond Amadi Yawol Iho, various columns and stories including Friends, Fanon's Destitute of World, Iravat's Armed Communist Revolutionary and its followers, Michael Moore's documentary film Sikko, George Orwell's Animal Farmed, Kobru issue controversy of ethnic allies towards democratic ways of resolving conflict, hospitals, looting states for people, etc. Impact News reporter Kam anchor Ketrimayum de Premchan has been selected for State Journalist Award in the Public Health and Hygiene category. Directorate of Information and Public Relations annually selected Best Editors and Reporters 
for State Journalist Award in various fields. The award will be conferred during the National Press Day at Directorate of Information and Public Relations Complex on November 16th. Impact TV expressed gratitude towards DIPR for the honor and acknowledgement of journalists who work day and night to reach out news and events to the public. Well, now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We will be back with details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. CAE education comes to info. Engineering Amadi architecture gives student Amadi professional sing the latest module the training period. Gate center initiation. Sagul ban moirang mere khmachin. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin. India added 12,516 fresh COVID-19 cases, 13,155 recoveries and 501 deaths in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union's Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases have dropped to 1,37,416. Total recovered cases have reached 3 crore 38,14,080 and recovery rate stands at 98.26%. That toll has reached 4,62,000. 690. Over 110 crore 79 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 25 crore 27 lakh 97,000 people, above 50 lakh 8 98,000 people have died and recoveries are above 22 crore, 87 lakh, 7,000. United States of America has the highest active cases of above 91 lakh, 83,000 in the world, followed by India and Brazil. The Sam rifle has sealed the Indo-Myanmar border and banned entry of, of Myanmar nationals in Moray town. The border has been shielded since the recovery of a large number of IEDs near Batuk village in Moray on 8 of November. Troopers of 43 Assam rifles are keeping a strict vigil in the border areas to prevent infiltration of Myanmar nationals to Moray town. Hence, Myanmarish have stopped coming to Moray town to save their commodities. Impact news sources said that a bomb exploded nearby a school in Namphalong in Tamu yesterday afternoon. No one was injured in the incident. In a road rage incident, police personnel allegedly brutally assaulted a 65-year-old vehicle owner last evening at a location under the jurisdiction of Noni Police Station. The injured is Guldeep, a resident of Punjab, Ludhiana. It is learned that Guldeep received injuries on his right hand, face and legs during the attack. Strongly condemning the incident, General Secretary of the Manipur Drivers Association, Sanjay Khetramayund, on behalf of the association, demanded authorities concerned to find out all police personnel involved in the incident and suspend them from service within five days. He also warned that the association will launch steering wheel down strike on the important highways of Manipur if the demand are not met. <laughs> Mafam Maripole, Kumbizi Kaile, Mit Kaibi Abapim Nashile, Haksangi Pim 
Apam mata dezu jaga maya mam lady. Masih gumba thodok si matu nau tobi kanu. Masih Manipur dapat asas ni. Yam nak haksin nak kandem tau ni. Suku mat thodok sing je matu nau tau dana bapak Manipur ki home department na. Masih ni mema ni faham ki manung dah. Kali gumba mui bega hak kangau nabat thodok sing je tau ni bapak polis department dah. Thabok tau ni bapak mui singgi matak ta. Action log dapat tarik di. Nasional highway thirty seven masung. Impak di mana pun lambi ani jadi si lebar garis driver cincin kalau ni ada mana pun driver yang sesienda istaring pay tapi kongsi mahu canggih lepas ayah ibu je ayam mana pun gua mengi ayam punya cincin jadi ngasih kita memang ani sih kita menunda kai gempa noni polis ki ngara nunda angkit hotok ke sienda ni bah polis ki mewah ising tu bo suspend tau tu bah tarik di adu kita makta su mana pun driver yang sesienda sabsa nama kongsi cie makal aja deh. Department of Post Manipur Postal Division has released a special cover of our indigenous Jaghao and Wang Kaifi during an event held at Manipur Postal Division in Fall today. Speaking at the event, Commissioner of Agriculture M. Joy applauded the Department of Post for its initiative to promote products of the state in different parts of the country. He also emphasized on the need for public cooperation in assisting initiatives of the Postal Division for promoting indigenous products successfully. He asserted that nutritional benefits of the Manipur's Chaghao has led to growing demand of the items outside the state. Further, the most he mentioned that the Manipur Organic Missions Agency has been promoting the Chaghao under the supervisions of ministry, adding that eight farmer producing companies have been ensuring sufficient supply of Chaghao products to meet the high demand. On the other hand, the Director of Handloom and Textile Lemley Kame said there is rising demand for one kefi worldwide day by day, thereby urges craftsmen in producing the finest quality products. Special cover of Kangla, Shiri Lili, Kachai Lemon and departed prominent leaders of the state were also released in the past. <laughs> Mana kalau kami, adakah wujud di ZI Kamboja, Malaysia, mana, lah kalau di Indonesia, mana wujud di Indonesia, mana kita, Saudi Arabia, mana, di mana yang ni? Sebab bahawa special cover tu, kalau sih nama orang mereka, orang orang tu orang yang dia lakukan tu, dia kata, saya di, kalau ini, kalau bah, Saudi, aduh, kalau bah, kalau ini, kalau sih tak apa dah, itu semua kan, itu semua, kalau sih sih na, kalau sih na, kalau ini bah, kalau ini bah, sih tak apa dah, kalau ini, kalau jadi, mana? Ravi campaign 2021 kicked off at KVK Thaubald office Kangabok today organized by Krishi Vigyan Kendra KVK Thaubald. Seats and other inputs of Ravi programs were also distributed to farmers of Thaubald district at the event. The annual campaign was held as a part of seed productions of mustard program taken up by KSHA MTA and ICICI Foundation. Thaubald district commissioner A. Subhas, IAS director of agriculture department, and Gojendro, MCS Department Manager of IC, IC, ICICI Foundation Manipur, Rishi Kanta, Agriculture Department AO Headquarter AK Chitaranjan and other attended the event. Distributed seeds will be planted at 50 acres of seed production of mustard land which is taken up under ICICI Foundation by selected farmers under various programs. Uh, leaflets was also released during the campaign and introduction an interaction program was also held for farmers from across Thaubal district. Progressive Youth Forum Longmai Noni district today flag off a bike rally in support of Bharatiya Janata Party's intending candidate of 54 Numba Assembly constituency for the 12th Manipur General Assembly election 2022, Gaidond Kamai and BJP government. The rally returned to Longmai after reaching Khopum. Around 100 bikers took part in the rally. A panting competition for school students as a part of a Pant India Awareness Come Outreach Campaign of National Legal Services Authority NALSA was held at the Chairap Court Complex today. District Legal Service Authority in Falth West organized the event under Manipur State Legal Service Authority. The competition was held in three categories for students of class one 
to 2 on the theme family, for students of class 3 to 5 on the themed environment, and for students of class 6 to 8 on the themed election. 150 students took part in the competition. IZAR South Headquarters conducted a mega health camp today at IZAR South Garrison in Mantripukhi as a part of Azadi Ka Amrut Mahatsab. Director General of Assam Rifles, Lieutenant General Pradeep Chandra Nair, Inspector General of IZAR South Major Generals Alok Naresh, and other top officials of Assam Rifles took part in the health camp. Assam Rifles presented mementos to the medical teams and also distributed wheelchairs, hand pumped, sanitized and medical ad kits to beneficiaries at the event. I see the presence of uh, doctors from uh, RIMS and JNIMS and of course the Heart Institute Manipur as an important factor because you are the ones who are going to do the follow-up after uh, today's uh, medical camp that's conducted here. And that's very important. While the doctors from Delhi who have taken the trouble to come down would surely address all uh, ailments that is possible to be addressed within a day's time. But more important is the follow-up. And that's where I would uh, want to request the doctors from Manipur to step in. Kangli Park Students Association KSA today held a blood donation camp to mark its 16th Foundation Day. The blood camp was held at the Blood Bank of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences and Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences Hospital. KSA members and other volunteers donated blood at the camp to mark sufficient to make sufficient blood available in Manipur to save lives during a medical emergency. People fondly remember late Soro Khaibam Bhubond, popularly known as Guru of Manipuri Modern Theatre, on the centenary birth anniversary today. Lalit Memorial Trust and Manipur Dramatic Union jointly organized an event in his memory at Manipur Dramatic Union, hold in Yaskul Police Land in Imphal. Art and Culture Commissioner M. Joy Patmashri Warepa Naba, President of the Manipur Dramatic Union, Imphal Sorai Samd Keshoram, and many eminent personalities attended. The event. Speaking on the occasion, Patma Shri Warepa Nava utilized the contributions of Sorokhai Bhumbond Bhubon in the field of the Manipuri theatre. He also expressed concerns that people of the state are being more influenced by Western culture and Western theatrical works, sidelining the ancestral heritage. He also called upon the theatre personalities in the state to support each other to promote and preserve Manipuri theatre. Two-day-long national seminar on the folklore and literature kicked off as a part of 13th Foundation Day of a Society for Folklore and Literature Research at its office in Ka Naurim Lekai Kanchipur today. In today's event, 14 paper readers read seminar that was divided into three sessions in the event comprising of 27 paper readers. National Recruitment Agency will be established in the country by March 2022, which will conduct common eligibility tests for recruitment. The same was announced by Union Ministry of State for Personal and Public Grievances Dr. Jitendra Singh yesterday during a regional conference on strengthening the state institutions of public administration in Lucknow. The union ministry said that the central government is trying to provide at least one center of examination in every major district so that as parents, especially girls, do not have to travel far for competitive examinations. He said that face of bureaucracy is changing and the change of peak is now increasing and joint poolings of resources and synergies is no longer an option but it is compulsory. Yawal Jim Committee organized an awareness program on drug abuse at Champanagar in Jiribam district to help youths combat use of drugs. 
and the event held at Yawal Club office, staffs of a child welfare ashram TI in Juriban enlightened the public on the impact of drugs in society and how to abstain from it. The association also informed of the existing benefits that are prevailing for giving support to people living with HIV AIDS and drug users during the event. New store of muscles and strength India, one of India's leading retailers of the fitness, supplement and nutritional products has opened at Thangmai Band today. India's renowned powerlifter and bodybuilder Mukesh Singh Gehlot inaugurated the store which is second of its kind in the northeast of India. Various bodybuilders including Manipur's renowned bodybuilder Rambam Bobby took part in the event. Speaking in connection to the inaugural event, Muscled and Strength India, founder Pradeep Praveend Chairani said the store will offer a variety of fitness supplements including nutritional products of over 42 brands to benefit bodybuilders. It may be mentioned that new store in the 17th opened is the 17th opened across India. Now the news from the world of sports. Five players from Manipur have been selected to represent India in the global authority of the Mixed Martial Art World Championship to be held at Berlin in Germany from December 7th to 11th. Names of the selected players are Veni Sufix, Sanchui Zimik, Fanjobamd Niranjant, Vishwa Mitra Mayang Langbamd and Laishramd Chaurajit. It may be mentioned that altogether 16 Manipuri players took part in the Old India Mixed Martial Art Federation National MMA and Striking MMA Championship held in Bangalore from the October 28 to 31 for national team selection. New Zealand will face Australia in the final match of ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup to being hosted by United Arab Emirates and Oman. The match will be played at Dubai International Stadium on November 14 at 7.30 p.m. In yesterday's second semi-final match played at Dubai International Stadium, Pakistan batted first and scored and secured 176 runs in 20 overs with four wickets down. Australia won the match by securing 177 runs in 18 overs with five wickets down. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin, but before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. Old Tribal Students Union Manipur, Cookie Students Organization and Old Naga Students Association Manipur demand special assembly session on ADC Build 2021. Chief Minister Nongkong Mambirend assures to reach 8 lakh res registration by December for each round which was taken up by Center for Welfare of the Workers at Unorganized Sectors. Chairperson of Manipur Commission for Protection of Child Right, PH Mani Babu says ground level study needed before starting physical classes. People in the Lungar village of Ukrul district are deprived of proper educational institute, health clinic, hospitals and other basic amenities. Manipur reports 55 new COVID-19 cases, 25 recoveries and 1 deaths in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 2.88%. And India adds 12,516 fresh COVID-19 cases, 13,155 recoveries and 501 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.26%. Thank you so much for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time to Manipur Bulletin. In the meantime, for more news and updates, please do not hesitate to follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Until then, have a great evening and stay safe. 
Kanganzaba, SC Post Metric Scholarship, OVC Pre Metric Scholarship, Amadi OVC Post Metric Scholarship Scheme 2019-20, remaining part Amadi 2020-21, Bank Account Validation, Amaram Oiraga, Scholarship Sangla Triba Mahiroi Chani Pan Yang Khaimari 